discussing the national health policy of Pakistan or national health policies of Pakistan and you can see that the health policies initiative basically started in 1948 when medical education conference was held and then 1955 till 2020 uh, health policies in different phases are continuing and you can see that this is a, a three partition meeting that we call it bohar committee meeting and this is the picture of bohar who headed this uh, committee and uh, most of the health system in subcontinent is based on the concept as well as finding of the board committee. The basic purpose of board committee was to analyze the high mortality and other problems related to the Britishers and the local population. It was great different, particularly malaria, diarrhea, cholera. These diseases were killing these Britishers more as compared to the local population. And this is the life sketch of Bobber and he was basically a ICS officer. So in the develop Millennium Development Goals, the paradigm of the health policies in many countries rather in the whole world has been shifted and before that the primary health care in 1978 in Almata Declaration was also one of the great paradigm shift in the health policies but still in Pakistan the curative care is predominant, the private sector is predominant and still the health system has many um, weaknesses and other so national health policy 2009 could not be implemented because in 2010 18th amendment devolved the health as a subject to the provinces and then the health insurance uh, schemes differently by different people governments are still Sometimes we have this Pakistan Sehat card, sometimes we have Insaf Sehat card, and sometimes we have People's Sehat card. Uh, health uh, sector in Sindh is also having this goal in DM, uh, and through that, the many strengthening and health system uh, reforms are in the uh, pipeline, but the system is still not properly functioning and the infant mortality, maternal mortality as per the SDG goal are not uh, achieved. See, overall purpose of the health uh, system or uh, the provincial health system is key purpose of developing the state framework to identify as what is required to help system strengthen and send and same is true for the provinces. Alma Atta declaration I have already discussed in 1978 shifted from curative care and hospital care to the primary health care and the community was considered as a important source as well as tool for the uh, primary health care. So national health policies, planning and formulation, this is one of the important uh, article there from I am taking these paragraphs. So since 1970s we have a policy and then uh, again we are having, but the first policy came in 1990 here you can see and then in 2002 and 2009 here the health was devolved or decentralized to the provinces. Uh, so coming to the other areas we have now a VN of 2023 and the SDGs so Sustainable Development Goal 3 is before us in the health policy. Uh, then the 18th amendment actually was uh, passed on 30th June 2011 so the health system and health responsibility is going towards the provinces so that is one area but now we have health ministry of regulation 
so that we can have national health services and regulation ministry that was evolved once again uh, so that the national level this is basically the national health services and regulation and coordination ministry now national ministry of health services since 1920 uh, 2018 and then the universal health coverage replaced the primary health care and uh, ultimately from 2018 2020 we have set Saulat program that is a concept in the province of Sindh and many other provinces. Uh, universal health coverage is as per the Astana declaration which was basically a continuation of the Alma Ata declaration and it was the 40th year when primary health care was revisited and renamed as the universal health. So this was the third shift in the health care and uh, ultimately if you can see that uh, we have international regulations, global health responsibilities and health security agenda general, global health security agenda. Health policy 1990 high concern for health was presented in the first national health policy. So you can have a question that when were the first national health policies and how many policies are so uh, for promulgated or framed by the Pakistan. So we have three policies, particularly 1990 policy, then 2001 policy and 2090. So 2090 for 19 that was not implemented because in 2010 and 11 the 18th amendment was implemented so the policy basically defines the human resource health plays the main role of global health increase the productivity and performance of the working force so the health policy is basically an important tool for economic development as well as reduction of the poverty and good standard of life. This is the journal where from I have taken this journal of business and social review. Uh, this is for the reference purpose. And according to the World Health Organization, a pure and clear-cut health strategy can achieve various objectives. It can explain a healthful image of the country in the upcoming years and it draws significance, dominance and predictable role of diverse social clusters and it makes possible the harmony, treaties and transform the Masses. So, without national health policy, the image of the nation is we have uh, image that we are not able to eradicate polio, we are not able to reduce infant mortality rate, and we have malnutrition as well as we have out of the school children more and stunted children, uh, a very great number of they are short stature. So public health, uh, three independence health policies from the Bohar, then 1978 uh, medical education conference, and then 1955-2020, we have different shades and layers of the national health policy. The first initiative of the British government was to appoint the uh, vaccinator journal in the subcontinent. This is uh, 1988. The government of India, it was the government of India assistant uh, even led to the elimination of the small park. Superintendent General of for vaccination was the highest post and that ultimately led to the small park in 1979. Uh, so then these are the milestone 1959 nomination of Royal Commission to investigate the health of the military in India 
so their main concern was not the people of the India, but main concern was their military personnel. The report regarding the plague commission, then the plague hit the subcontinent in 1904, the epidemic of plague in 1996. So plague was in 1996, but the report was submitted in 2004. In 1990, reformation presented by the Government of India Act and then in 1935, reformation announced by the Government of India Act. So basically, 1935 and the Bohar Committee in 1946 are the different areas where health policy or health uh, strategy was there. National health policy planning, this was again a reputation. So it was after a prolonged period of narrative health policy was offered in 1990. So this is basically a question that when the first policy formal was promulgated. The policy describes its goal to be achieved during the 10 years. National policies include the People's Health Scheme of 1972, then 1990, 97, 2001 and 2009. So basically this 1990 and then after 7 years, this is the another 1997, but basically we have 2001 policy and 2019 policy and then there is a reign of National Health Year 2016 and 2004. Still one year is left there. So 2000 Pakistan Vian is uh, to have a good health of Pakistani people till the 21st century. And if you can see that in Balochistan and other provinces have made their provincial policies also. According to the World Bank, the private sector is main supplier, so 77% private sector is there, but they have little say in the national health policy. That is the important weakness. And then the recommendation of health policy can be supported by education of both adults and children can be trained that why clean water is important, why personal hygiene is important, what are the causes of the major diseases, nutritional component, and then the home-based farms and to preserve the maximum nutritional value, how to cook. So if the preventive care, hygienic care is not mentioned, then you will not have an implementation of the health policy. Focus of health policy is curative health care and laboratories, ambulance and growing number of the health services and latest type of equipment. How untrained medical practitioners for modern technologies uh, will use them even though at the time of formulation of policy the ground reality, social dimension, cultural, religious values are ignored and perception is gained from the success stories of developed countries. So our national policy is just the getting ideas from the developed countries, the realities of Pakistan are not reflected in the national health policy. So we request through this uh, presentation that the next national health policy or provincial policy should not be the, the, in the, under the impression or influence of the national health policies. So, thank you very much.